How's it going guys? Today I'm gonna tell you what are the elements that affect bokeh. I'm gonna show you the bokeh formula. Yes, there is a formula that explains how to get a lot of blur behind the subject in our photos. This will be a very useful lesson, especially for beginner photographers. Let's face it, a smooth blurry background is something that every photographer wants. It makes the subject pop out and it removes distractions. In one of my videos, I was showing you the easy way to know your camera's settings. I was explaining this with the help of this image that I reproduced. If you're not familiar with your camera's settings, check the link in the description of this video. Let's begin. The first line shows the aperture setting and how this affects the image. As we can see, the wider the aperture, the more bokeh we get. The aperture value is not the only thing that affects bokeh. It's one of the main aspects, but the formula has more things that are equally important. And here they are. This is the formula. Let's start with the first aspect. How close is the subject? To make it easier, I made these images. As we can see, the more we get closer to our subject, the more bokeh we get. As soon as we get back and move away from our subject, bokeh starts to disappear. So even if we have a good 85mm lens set at f2, there will be no bokeh if the subject is 10 meters away from us. If we want a smooth blurry background, we also have to get closer. That was easy. But speaking about the 85mm lens, let's throw another thing into the mix. Focal length. Another main aspect in the bokeh formula. Long story short, focal length is given by the millimeters on the lens that we use when we take the photo. Here are the examples. The more zoomed in we are, the more bokeh we get. Also, as we can see, the more we get closer to wide and ultra-wide angle lenses, that blur starts fading away. This might seem complicated at first, but it's not. Closeness in the telephoto lens gives us a lot of bokeh, while being far away and capturing with the wide-angle lens gives us less bokeh. On the bottom we have the aperture value, the third aspect that influences our blurry background. Here, as I showed you at the beginning of this clip, everything is pretty straightforward. But there is one more thing to add to the formula, and that is sensor size. This will make things a bit more complicated, but I promise, at the ending of this clip I'm gonna show you something that will make you understand everything in just 10 seconds. Everything. I promise. So sensor size also plays an important role. In the left side we have a full frame sensor camera. In the right side we have an APS-C sensor camera. As we can see, the one on the left is larger. A camera with a full frame sensor will always win at bokeh compared to cameras that have an APS-C or a micro four thirds sensor. But this doesn't mean that cameras with the two smaller sensors perform badly at bokeh. They have an ally, they compensate with something that is called the crop factor. Let me show you. An APS-C sensor that can be found in Nikon or Fuji cameras is 1.5 times smaller than a full frame sensor. And the Canon APS-C sensor is 1.6 times smaller than the full frame. Their smaller size is what gives them the crop factor. If we take the 50mm lens from a full frame and put it on an APS-C, this will be magnified by 1.5 or 1.6 times. Depending on the camera brand, the 50mm lens will become a 75 or an 80mm lens. Panasonic and Olympus produce cameras with micro four thirds sensors. They are two times smaller than the full frame. So here, the 50mm lens will transform into a 100mm lens. So the smaller sensor cameras receive some help for their bokeh. Thanks to the crop factor that they have, focal length becomes bigger, an important aspect of the formula. So don't worry if you don't have a full frame camera. Now is the time for me to deliver on that promise that I made. I was telling you that I'm going to show you something that will explain everything easy in just 10 seconds. Here we go. If you think that the formula is hard, just look at this. To get the maximum bokeh, you must be close to the subject, use the lens at the big focal length, have a small aperture value and a big sensor. 
Bokeh is not obtained if we have the opposite things. See? I told you it will get easy. If this video was useful, if I delivered on my promise, have a minimum interaction with this video and press that like button, it only takes a second. This was Bokeh explained in the easy way. I will make more videos like this explaining camera's settings in the easy way. Thank you for watching and see you next time.